All right, it's the top of the hour. Welcome to the monitoring functional update. Uh, my name is Ben Kochi. I'm the team lead. Uh, and we have several other engineers on the team. Uh, we're hiring. We, uh, we're looking for more backend engineers for the uh, monitoring team. Uh, exciting stuff coming in uh, that we want to build, but we need more people to do it. Um, so what are we doing? Uh, we're current, we've been shipping metrics with Prometheus and shipping Prometheus as a feature for uh, GitLab users. Uh, but soon we're going to be trying to add uh, distributed tracing and also distribu uh, distributed logging support so that when your app's running in production, you'll be able to get the full uh, range of instrumentation that you need as an application developer uh, when you're using GitLab as, a, as your development platform. Uh, tracing uh, gives you really, really interesting things. Uh, basically, uh, you can follow the workflow of your code from uh, uh, from application request to application request and get all this uh, uh, individual uh, work or get the individual data flow for each request into, into GitLab. Uh, logging will give you something uh, basically the same, uh, but it'll give you your application logs uh, as viewed uh, inside GitLab. Uh, the Prometheus Ruby client is part of our, our metrics uh, feature. Uh, basically, uh, we've been working on building a, a much better Ruby Prometheus uh, client library. And this is what we use inside GitLab itself to instrument uh, our own code. Uh, this took quite a while to debug and build, uh, but we've been running with this in gitlab.com production for about a month now and we'll be releasing this as a general availability uh, in 10.7. Uh, uh, we released a bunch of great stuff in 10.6. Uh, uh, we wanted to be, the, the ability for users to be uh, to generate their own uh, Prometheus queries and have those uh, visible within Prometheus, within GitLab. Uh, we also shipped a cluster monitoring. So if you're running a Kubernetes cluster connected to GitLab, uh, you'll be able to see some basic uh, metrics about your the health of your Kubernetes cluster uh, and be able to diagnose the, avail uh, the, the, the utilization of your, of your Kubernetes cluster. Uh, in 10.7, we got some cool stuff coming. Uh, basically, the idea is we want to be, uh, we want users to be able to act on their metrics. So this is about taking taking the metrics that you are getting into, into Prometheus and expressing those as SLOs or SLAs, uh, depending on, on the style of monitoring you want to do, and say things like, uh, uh, I have a certain error threshold that I want to maintain, whether I want no more than 1% or 0.1% errors, or uh, or a specific rate, like I only want no more than 10 errors per second or, or 150 errors per second. Uh, and if, if that threshold is exceeded, we'll be able to, to send an alert to, the, to an operator and get that to the, the user so that they can go look at their code and go look at their production environment to find out why they're generating errors. Um, this, is the, uh, this is the next step in being able to, to not just look and observe what you're doing in production, but also uh, automatically react to what's going on in your production environment. Uh, other good things we're working on, we're going to be instrumenting the GitLab shell. So if you're uh, running your GitLab instance and your uh, users are, are, are seeing uh, errors on the SSH interface, you should be able to correlate that with metrics. Uh, and then eventually you'll be able to alert on uh, whether your GitLab shell is functioning properly or not. Uh, so if you're using git push or git pull via SSH, uh, you'll be able to see metrics for that. Uh, we're also going to be uh, starting the prototyping of uh, the distributed tracing. So we've been we've been doing a we've spent a, uh, some time doing a discovery on how we're actually going to deal with met, uh, distributed tracing, and uh, our current uh, prototype is going to be using Jaeger, which is part of the same cloud native computing foundation that uh, Kubernetes and Prometheus are part of. Uh, Prometheus in production on GitLab.com. We've uh, been running with 2.0 for the default. Uh, it's been working quite well. Uh, we've been 
following along with the development of Prometheus 2.0 and uh, are very happy with it. Um, it reduced the, the load on our production Prometheus series by a significant amount. Uh, we've also been able to uh, expand and we've added a second set of uh, Prometheus servers to handle just the application metrics. Uh, so part of the, the great thing with Prometheus is it allows you to, to uh, vertically scale your Prometheus by separating out different aspects of your application, uh, but still allow you to see uh, all of your metrics globally using Grafana. Uh, and also alert globally by using the alert manager. Uh, uh, we've also started to work on improving the, the response uh, to errors for gitlab.com by codifying our, our company SLAs into alerts. So we're, we're currently working through all of the different things that uh, are important to gitlab.com users and building better alerts so that we can, we can be alerted more quickly uh, when the performance of gitlab.com is not doing as well as it should be. Uh, and that's all I have for uh, presentation points. Let's go to questions.